Hi. Let me tell you about another great Manning book. Build a front-end web framework from scratch, written by Angel Solar Weiseta. Front-end frameworks are crucial for developing complex web applications, but their inner workings often remain a mystery to developers. By building our own front-end framework, we aim to uncover the mechanics behind popular frameworks like Vue and React, enhancing our ability to use, troubleshoot, and improve them. Frameworks simplify the development process, but truly understanding how they function is a different challenge. Frameworks and libraries differ in their role in application development. Frameworks establish the overall structure and control flow, while libraries offer reusable functions for specific tasks. The goal is not to create a competitor to existing frameworks, but to understand their core concepts. The framework we'll build will be simple yet feature-rich, drawing inspiration from popular frameworks and focusing on key concepts like the virtual DOM and reconciliation algorithm. It will support standard HTML and manage its own state and lifecycle, re-rendering upon state changes. By the end of the book, readers will have built a framework with a virtual DOM abstraction, a reconciliation algorithm for DOM updates, and a component-based architecture. Advanced features like SPA routing and server-side rendering will be covered in additional chapters on GitHub. Developers start by using the framework's CLI tool or manually configuring the project. Components, written in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, define the application's view and interactions. Frameworks like React use JSX, while others like Vue and Angular use HTML templates with directives. When ready, the code is bundled and minified for production. The build process typically involves 1. Compiling templates into JavaScript 2. Bundling component code into app.bundle.js 3. Bundling third-party code into vendors.bundle.js 4. Extracting CSS into bundle.css 5. Generating index.html 6. Copying static assets. These files are then uploaded to a server for deployment. In an SPA, the server sends a mostly empty HTML file. The browser loads JavaScript and CSS files, and the framework dynamically creates the view using the document API. A router updates the view without reloading the page. The steps are 1. Load the HTML file. 2. Load JavaScript and CSS files. 3. Create the application's view, mounting. 4. Handle user interactions by patching the DOM. 5. Navigate among routes without reloading the page. SSRs render HTML on the server and send it to the browser. The backend handles requests and renders pages. When navigating, the browser requests new HTML pages from the server. The steps are 1. Load an HTML page from the server. 2. Hydrate the HTML page by attaching event handlers. 3. Handle user interactions by patching the DOM. 4. Navigate between routes by requesting new pages from the server. In SSR, the server generates pages, while in SPA, the framework dynamically updates a single HTML file. Get this book at manning.com.